all right guys welcome to another tutorial today i will be showing you how to install ibm's dsm that they have um, natively created for pfsense so before ibm actually had an official pfsense dsm a lot of people including me um, that have a PSM PFSense firewall have been using custom DSM written and posted out there by some other users. But IBM now officially has a DSM for PFSense in Curator. But if you notice, if you're using the Curator um, Community Edition, you do not have that installed. So you have to install it manually. So the first thing you want to do is go into Google and search for Curator Quick Fix Download. It's going to take you to the IBM Support Fix Central. You want to open that website. Once you have that open, it's going to ask you for a product. So you just go in there and search Curator. You should see IBM Security Curator SIM. And once you do that, you select the version um, for the Curator CE. If you're running the most recent ISO file, it should be 7.3.3. .3. If you're not sure, you can go to the admin tab, system license, system and license management, and you'll see on there that it's uh, version 7.3.3. .3. So if yours is different, make sure you select the correct. Uh, version so for this tutorial I'm using 7.3 so I'll do 7.3 platform leave it to Linux and we go to continue and then we'll hit continue for browsing all fixes once that loads up it's going to give you all these fixes for firmware updates, ISO, scanner scripts and all that stuff. So we want to filter with that filter it down to DSM. So there's two things we're going to need to download. First of all, we'll start by downloading the DSM for Curator. So if you click on DSM, you see it brings us down here. You can scroll all the way down and find for uh, NetGate PFSense or you can do control F and then just search for pfsense and that brings us straight to pfsense and then you click on here um, and it wants you to log in so you're going to have to have an ibm uh, account for this you can create one if you don't but we'll go ahead and log in and you enter your password so once you enter your login information it's going to take you back to the downloads page you want to select um, download using the browser so you can download it to your local computer if you were use if you wanted to download it directly from your curator appliance you use um, the sftp or sftp so you're just pulling it directly using FTP on your command line interface. But for this tutorial, I will download it using a browser, which means it's going to download and then we're going to have to um, SSTP that into um, our Qwerty file. So you click download and it's going to download that file. There is one other file we need to download called the DSM common so we need that also to be able to upgrade because if you try to just install this it's going to fail because this um pfsense dsm is being uh, made in a way that it has to be installed with the newer dsm common file since it's the community edition it doesn't manually update that file so you have to go update it by yourself so we'll go back here and then um, go back, go back one more time, go back, and then we'll find control find DSM common. Okay, there we go. So you want to also download this. You follow the same steps. You click on it and you download it 
on your local machine um, so once you have that downloaded I will go ahead and open your command line interface on your um, computer or um, your desktop or you SSH into your curator. Um, before you do that, um, we will need to copy that file into the curator. So if you have a, a like a Win, if you're using Windows and you use, you want to use Win SCP, you can use that. Um, for this tutorial, we're just going to do SFTP. Uh, we'll use SFTP to directly connect to the box. So we'll do SFTP root at the IP address of your curator appliance. And then at this point, it's going to ask you for the password. Put the password. Once we do the password, you want to use is put so if you have a specific folder or directory you want to copy these files into on your curator appliance um, you can cd into that directory but for this tutorial we're just going to put it um, straight into the root home directory so we'll do put if you were getting something or downloading onto your local machine you use get but since we are taking from our local machine onto the curator appliance we'll do or virtual machine we'll do put and then at this point you can open your downloads folder and you just need to go to the files you've downloaded so all you need to do is take this copy it and put it there if you know the full path you can always type the full path um, once you do that you're going to hit enter so just put the full part of the file name and enter and you see it copied that straight into the system once that is done we're going to have to exit and now log in back into the curator appliance using ssh once you ssh with your correct password you can ls and once we ls we see that we have the pfsense um, netgate uh, <clears throat> pfsense netgate um, dsm on a uh, system at this point if you want to install it all you need to do is type this command so at this point all you need to do is type the following command yum Y for yes, install, and then the full name of the file. So I have already installed this before, so um, I don't have to do it anymore. But if you if it's the first time installing this, you want to start by installing the DSM um, common. So you're going to do that command. You do DSM common, and it says that it's already installed and I don't have, um, I don't need, it's not a new package. So for your, um, in your own environment, this should install, follow the prompts. If it asks you to accept any terms and conditions, you should go ahead and do that. Once you install the DSM common, now you can install the PFSense DSM. So we'll do the same command. We'll do yum, yes, install and then the dsm name see it also says i o i already installed this so i don't need an update or anything for this um, this will apply to any other dsm that you may want to install manually into your um curator community edition because um, as you can see, I also did install the ISC bind DSM because it doesn't, it wasn't included natively with the Curator Community Edition. But if they have one for, for your version you're currently running, you can always download it and install it manually. So once that's done, you're going to go back to the admin UI and you come to the admin tab. 
you want to go to advanced and deploy full configuration changes um, don't just deploy regular changes you want to do the full configuration changes and once you do that you should now be able to go <clears throat> into your curator log source management new log source and you will be able to see your netgate pfsense dsm on there and also if you already go if you've already gone to your pfsense at this time and uh, configured it to send logs to curator it is going to automatically detect the logs and if it doesn't yes you just need to come here like i just showed you and you'll create a new log source with the netgate pfsense dsm and that should be it and at that point you should be getting all your logs um, firewall denies and um, firewall permit logs natively without having to manually um, configure uh, the DSM editor and the other log source extensions.